All right, let's try again with another Phantom Ultimate Masters Cube Draft. Let's see if this draft is fun. A lot of the value I get out of Cube Drafts is being able to open sweet cards. Not Cube Drafts. I keep saying freaking Cube Drafts. Masters Drafts is opening sweet cards and then getting to uh, feel like I profited at some uh, some level. Especially if I do some winning. Um, so I'm not sure if I can enjoy it as much when we're playing a... Uh, Phantom Master's Draft, but first impressions of UNA. Interesting is probably the word I'd use. I'm not sure if, if I like it, which is weird. Usually I'm all in on these. On Modern Masters, I loved. Vintage Masters, I did a million. But I don't know, like, I'm just not excited about Conviction or Deranged Assistant or Fume Spitter. Reckless Charge is like. I don't know. Like a lot of the cards I'm just not excited about, but maybe it's just maybe that's a maybe that's me. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to it yet. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I do like a Glenland Archmage and it's one color, so Oh, I do like Mona the Unhallowed a lot. I'm very tempted to start drafting just a bunch of Moan of the Unhallowed. Let's try Blue Black, see what happens here. I think Iridescent Drake is nice, but it's also, we just played it, and it was fine. If you don't have a thing in the graveyard, it's just a 2-2 flyer for 4, <clears throat> which is not super exciting, but eh, what can you do? Glenn is OP in cube. I don't know if it's okay, It's if it's OP in Ultimate Masters, because we do have... Um, it's not, I don't know if it's as spell intensive. I think like most draft formats are more more creature intensive, whereas uh, most cube formats are more spell intensive because you're playing more like a constructed format with planeswalkers and things. <laughs> what does this do? 1-1, one, one, sacrifice a return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. The creature gains haste at the beginning. Of okay, that's not great. You're another Drake. No other black cards, and this is the only other blue card. All right. Hey, Frank, thought you and chat might... What is What is this? Let's see. Un <laughs> is this content? <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That is gorgeous. I'm going to take the Drake here just in case. Whirlwind plus Flight of, Fan Flight of Fancy is pretty nice. Conflagrate. Another Meringue River Prowler. We had this guy last time, and I just don't think it's... I don't know if it's good. Um, two damage a turn is nice, especially if you can pump it, but that's all... Like, it It takes a lot. I'll still take it, I think. Unblockable is pretty good. Oh, I like an Aether Snipe. I didn't even know this was in the set until last time. Oh, we can get another mode in the Unhollowed. We can just make zombies for days. Uh, I I don't know how quickly we're going to be able to fill the graveyard, so I don't... Like, we had nothing to fill the graveyard with, so I don't think I'm going for Angler yet. Uh, I'd rather just have Flight of Fancy here because we have a Drake. I also like Mona the Unhollowed and Aether Snipe. These are all very, very good. I think we can get another Flight of Fancy, but being able to have a 4-4 that bounces a dude is pretty strong. But you had to have entered it by 10. Oh, so they want to make sure you can finish all your matches. Yeah, okay. sure. That's whatever. Yep, and there's the Flight of Fancy we're looking for. Flight of Fancy is great with Drake. It's also good with, uh, well, pretty much anything.
And nothing blue black in this entire pack. Uh, the resurrection is meh. Could just take Crusher, but like, what are the odds we're gonna cast a Crusher? To take Terramorphic Expanse, I guess. We could take Sky Spear Cavalry, but it's a five mana. It's essentially a five mana four four flyer that ends up dying to two mana removal. I think we're just taking Expanse here. This is a Phantom Mountain Dew. It's a Phantom Dye Mountain Dew we're drinking. That is a Raging Ravine there. <clears throat> Two Pulse of Marasas. Cathodian, another four drop. That's pretty cool. These cards are great. I'll just take a Cathodian. Actually, Cathodian's three drop. I think I said four drop, but. Appetite for Brains. I mean, blue green does seem pretty open, but we just, we literally just did blue green. Whatever. Walker the Grove is strong. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I don't know. Uh, this guy's fine, especially with a Flight of Fancy. And. I mean, like, we're definitely not locked into any second color here. Boom, doom, doom, doom. Platinum Imperion, huh? That guy seems busted. I mean, it costs eight mana, but it still seems pretty busted. This card does not seem great for blue or for green or for black. I'm just going to take the Platinum Imperion. If they can't deal with this, you basically can't lose, right? Draft with your heart and it'll see you through. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Oh, a Revel Arc. Artisan of Kozilek, eh? Chainer's Edict. Hmm. Yeah, now's not a bad time to mention it. But no one cares. <clears throat> Revelar getting back Arch Archmage does seem pretty sick. We do have Resurrection actually. That's pretty cool. How do we get the How do we get this guy in the graveyard? That is a question. Also, Morang River probably gets worse when we don't actually have uh, blue or black cards in our deck. And I'm pretty on. I do like Edict. I do like Artisan as well, but like, how are we casting that realistically? I don't even know what you're talking about now. Boom, 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 boom. Try to grow a skin? 
What does that even mean? Grow a skin? Jesus, do you wake up in the morning and just endeavor to like to sound as ridiculous as possible? Is this how you talk to people? Like you talk to your friends like this? <laughs> you hold conversations like this? It's very strange. <laughs> God, you're insufferable. Uh, Hero of Iros. That's interesting. We don't have anything to target. Flight of Fancy. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, it's just like, it's a matter of like, what do you get out of this? Like, at a certain point, like, you're just being insufferable and no one wants to hear it. Like, what do you get out of it? Is this the best use of your time? I don't hate Ication. We just took Chainer's Edict, though. Like, I really wish we took the Revel Arc if we're going to take Ication Crier. I think I'd rather just take the Foil here. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the blue here. Oh, Disrupting Shoal. That's fascinating. Fascinating. I kind of like Treasure Cruise here, though. Yeah, we'll take the treasure cruise. We don't have much delve, so I don't feel terrible about that. Um, <laughs> shielding blacks. On Platinum Imperion is actually not terrible. That's actually kind of funny. Um, God, there's no good... Like, this this draft has been weird. I think it's playable. I mean, even if we put on, like... I guess we're not going to put on this, but... I don't think it's terrible. We have no two drops, though, right? Like, we have a deranged assistant, too. I guess we can shift it over a little bit. Wild Mongrel is okay here. Are we green? I don't even know what the colors are. Like, I definitely think Moan and Chainers are better than Mammoth and Resurrection here. Another River Prowler. I'll just take the River Prowler. Sure. Oh, another Aether Snipe. All right. That's pretty good. All right. So we're just going to stick with Blue here for now. Oh, Think Twice came back. That's actually great. How many Aether Snipes is too many? I don't think it's three. Didn't we have an awful snout? Didn't we take one of these? Eh. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Do we still we still have a third pack, right? Thank goodness. Lava claw reaches, huh? Well, I don't think that's where we want to be. Eternal Witness is pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, evoke his sorcery speed. God, where are all the two drops in this format? Like, I don't think there's a two drop in this pack. That's pretty ridiculous. Well, I don't think we're playing three of these. Um, we're probably on black. 
Which means I don't mind taking a ghoul steed, especially when we have like meringue river prowlers that we can cast from the graveyard. That's actually pretty sweet. Wow. Jeez. And a face fetters in this pack? Oh, for biscuits. gotta be that that's not even close through the breach woo woo none of these other cards are that great though there's no blue cards in this pack uh we could take a hyena umbra i don't think that's great on barrow rights is pretty cool because we do have a planet empyreon do we have any way to get like a white mana though i don't think so like the fixing in the set seems like garbage at least in, like, Modern Masters, there was a bunch of Signets and, uh, what do you call it, Guildlands? <clears throat> yeah, I'll take Umbrella Rights. I think it's fine. Oh, Counter Squall is nice. I also do like Olivia's Dragoon. Olivia's Dragoon is also pretty good. I do like, eh, I like Olivia's Dragoon enough to discard things. Yeah, that seems fine. Exile it from your graveyard, create a 2-2. Two -two. So we make a 2-2 two -two and then it makes another 2-2 two -two once it's in the graveyard. That's actually fine. Seize the day. That's a double combat phase, sure. Yeah, I'll just take Cool Caller's face. Archaeomancer. Hmm. Do we have enough instant sources to care about that? I don't think so. I might just want Second Flight of Fancy, actually. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's just no fixing. <laughs> uh, take on. Burial rights out. Yes, this is Phantom. Oh, wow, another Iridescent Drake. I'm glad I took the Flight of Fancy now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, so definitely taking the Drake here. Probably taking out Foil. Another Dragoon. Okay. Maybe. Mark of the Vampire is actually pretty neat too on an Iridescent Drake. That's actually not bad. Yeah, we'll take the we'll take the mark. If they don't have removal mark is actually pretty sweet. We can take a one flight of fancy out for that. Um Yeah, there's also doesn't seem to be a lot of removal, which is interesting. Like, I don't think we've seen any removal other than like a counter spell where I'm like, oh, we better play foil because if they play a creature, I don't know how to kill it. Oh, the counter spell came back. Well, that's something. So this is 23, which we're probably going to play. Uh, Platinum Imperion probably just stays in our hand. I don't actually think we're going to... We can't reanimate it, so... Also, Mark and Flight of Fancy are both very good on Whirlwind Adepts as well, so. Uh, 
Actually, Vessel might make me want to play Unbarrel Rights, to be quite honest, because just being able to possibly kick it is pretty decent. What can we cut for it, though? Probably Deranged Assistant. And maybe like one Meringue Prowler. Ba -doo 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 -doo. Billy, have a good afternoon, buddy. Or night, I guess. I guess that's a thing. I take out one prowler. I think that's fine. We can board in counter squall. Oh my god, dude. You got blocked for 10 minutes, and 10 minutes later you came back and still bitched and moaned. Unbelievable. Please go do something better with your time. I'm begging you. Oh my god, dude, please. Go watch a movie. Go enjoy something. Go find joy joy in life instead of misery. Um maybe we just, do we just play one one of this dude instead? Cut down. Cut down, cut down. Eight seven one, get rid of you. Add another one of you. you just play one just in case we wanna cast this? Probably, right? And the stuff is just nonsense, like, there's an implication that I do have a point. What do I get out of it? We're all here doing the same thing. I'm just trying to referee some of your insane self-righteous sanctimony. You know, giving you the benefit of the doubt you have human worth and that this community might be worth something despite- Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, oh god, you sound like- Oh god, you sound like every goth kid I met in high school. Every angsty goth kid in high school. It's just, it's just so cringy, dude. It's just so self, it's just self, self-righteous cringiness. I believe you all have some worth in you, despite your sanctimony. Okay, well, that's, I appreciate that. Thank you. <clears throat> anyway, no beats is right. No Burt's. So uh, here we are. Let's. Uh, it's not a. It's not a phase, mom. Well, you know what they say. Sometimes you gotta disappear. All right. <laughs> 99.9 they were a Ben Shapiro fan gasoline alright let's play first where did my neck go I'll never tell I could do one of these jobbies too and then I think I'm totally gone right I can't tell <laughs> Frank's just fading away from all the negativity. This is what you gotta do to the haters. You gotta fade on them. My neck is like John Cena. I'm just gonna put a lot of words and phrases to get Senpai to notice me and my worthwhile opinions about life and what's best for everyone on the internet. Oh my god, I died laughing typing it when you put the hood on laughing. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. Everybody, we're having a good time. Oh, amazing. 
<laughs> top 10 <laughs> you'll never believe his number eight secret to getting rid of your neck pain chiropractors hate him look at these people having fun Ugh. don't they know that life is just a you i don't even know i can't even like i can't even emulate it properly because i just don't know the message i suppose This is really, it crimps your face. Like, I feel like my head is, like, being crushed. What did, what did Neon Rain do? Neon Rain's good people. I haven't worn the shirt yet, mostly because it was very hot when I wore it the one time I did. Not on stream, but I tried it and I was like, ooh, this is this works, but boy, is it toasty. You think this is phantom content? I'll show you phantom content. Ooh, sacking this to put a counter on this boy. Should I buy you a personal air conditioner? I have a fan right in front of me right here. It looks like this. I don't know if I can lift it high enough. I can't. It's. I got the cord all condensed so that it doesn't... So my cord management is on point. Double hissing iguana is getting a little scary. I'm not game with double hissing iguana and double fume spitter. Oh boy! Sack this. Give two neggies. Sack this. Give two neggies. She dies. Give two neggies. So many neggies. Look, I'm pretty sure you knew you were good people. I'm pretty sure you also knew that I knew that you were good people. -da 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 -da. Bum bum. Yep. I'm pretty sure she did. Ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Ba -ba -da -da Goodbye. Well, we just took like six damage. Oh, 100% block here. But then we take two and two, right? It's, oh, it's another, so it's, we take three. One, two, three. Yeah, that's good. So apparently hissing igu Iguanar is just broken in this format. So we take five here, we go to seven. Yikes. Oh, boy. We're having a good time. But you don't see me, you don't see me. Okay, I think we're good. I'll trade this guy for an Iguanar. Iguanar. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. Iguanar? But you won't see me, you won't see me. This is a Beatles song that's stuck in my head. God, we take two more? Like, I just want to block here because we take two more if we don't block. So I'd rather just get them both off the board and go to five. That's ridiculous. The EV calculator says it's negative nine tickets. Wow. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, I don't care about that. Oh, their deck is nuts. This deck is very, very good.
We don't want to take two in the air, so I'm going to bounce this. Because if we go to three, like, we're almost surely dead. They just go sack, sack this, sack this, and then we go to one, and then if they play any other guy, we're dead, so. How many drafts into this format do I have to be before I'm just done? Is it... Is it more than... Is it more than two? I think two. Okay, good. Good. Good to know. Good to know. Or do any of these cards gain me any amount of life? Is it just me? Am I just like doing it... Am I just drafting incredibly poorly? Because that is an option. I mean, I definitely... I'm not above assuming that's the case. I'm going to put the foil in, and I'll take one of the drakes out, I guess. We have Mark of the Vampire. I just... I'm, I'm, I'm reluctant to think that it's the set. Because I've been so crazy about all the other Master sets. Like Vintage Masters, Modern Masters, etc., etc. Uh, even Iconic Masters. They were all very good to draft. The deck seems a bit slow, but there also doesn't seem to be very many two and like two drops in the format so like i don't really know what to do about that like are we missing i mean triple aether snipe platinum Imperion, moan double iridescent drake that we had glenlinger archmage like if this isn't a powerful deck um i don't actually know how to make powerful decks in this format and i'll acknowledge that i, I don't it's my second draft but I'll, also on the same hand like jesus how broken does your powerful like an average deck have to be Okay, well, we're just going to go to go to five here. Okay. Uh, bop. Yeah, I agree the packs did not seem great. But again, I'm willing to take blame here. I don't think I even saw any twins in the last draft, but maybe I just missed them. Also, maybe I'm undervaluing cards like Fume Spitter. I don't know. Hey, it's your boy. Well, if we can find a way to get this guy in the graveyard, I think we're in good shape here. Well, we definitely lost last game to some chip damage. Some chocolate chip damage, so. Yeah. So now we're gonna take three. They're probably gonna play Iguana. Or like it's just, it's weird because like I mean we have a good amount of two and three drops here. We have a Cathodian. We have Morang River Prowler, which doesn't block, but it's still like at least it contests the board a little bit. Um, you know we have Dragoon. We have a bunch of we have a bunch of two and three drops. Is basically what I'm getting at. Uh, this is not a discard out. This lets us discard an island. I put on shorts that were too small at the beginning of the year, and now they're way too big. That's actually awesome, man. Congrats. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Probably going to counter this. Oh. So it's a three for one. Yeah, let's do that. I actually didn't know that foil was two extra cards. That seems bad. Well, we have two cards, they have four cards, but uh, 
127 pounds? Holy smokes, man. That's ridiculous. Way to go. This is the new master set. So far, me and Chad have been... Oh, a second furnace celebration. Because of course you do. Why wouldn't you have two? That's just good magic playing. Well, if we can draw one more land, we're good. No blocks. I don't have any creatures. I can't block this. Don't play don't play a big thing. Oh, you're gonna play a big thing? It's not a big thing. You're like a child. Land. Oh, it's so awkward. Alright, we're not dead. We're not dead. I don't know if they can deal with Imperial. And if we have shielding plaques that they definitely can't. Unless they play Chainer's Edict, and then we're like, oh, that's awkward. Yeah, Mox Emerald. He knows what's up. All right, didn't do anything. One land. Let's bring it back. You got a turn to deal with this guy. So like smash to smithereens and you're like, oh, that's awkward. I did not see that coming. Zealous conscripts kill us. All right, I like it. Three, four, five, six. Not even gonna hesitate. Can't even target spells or abilities you can, your opponents control. Why doesn't it just say give it hexproof? Has this not been errated? Oh, they're just gonna scoop. Platinum and peer hound with hexproof, boys. That's where you want to be. Shielding plaques should be errated, right? Like it should say hexproof on it, right? It's not fundamentally different, right? That's weird. Is it not? Enchanted creature can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control. How is that not hexproof? What's the difference? Oh, there it is. You can put it on your opponent's guy and they can't target it. Okay. That is a very subtle difference. All right. I kind of like Counterswall here because they do have the three drop. That's really problematic for us. Foil is not bad there, especially at discarding this uh, this Platinum Imperion. Surprisingly enough. Wish I had would have splashed this war leader's helix. <laughs> is there mana fixing? Not really, actually. Uh, your mana fixing is literally limited to like um, Terramorphic Expanse, Vessel, and that's pretty much it. It's not great. Also, Shielding Plax does count as a permanent for uh, Meringue River Prowler. Want to play Expanse? Uh, I was actually considering it. I, I didn't, I don't know. I wasn't 100% on it, but I might actually play it. It's also good for Treasure Cruise, which is nice. Oh, uh, actually, being able to go foil, discard Flight of Fancy seems pretty good, because we can get it back with Drake. That's It just turns Drake into a Mole Drifter. Yeah, every game it's been Fiend Spitter into Generator Servant, so... 
I mean, ideally, we just draw a Meringue River, uh, <laughs> uh, Platinum Imperion to discard the foil, but we don't actually have. Oh, God. P pretty sure Furnace Celebration is busted against us. Land. Be a land. That's kind of like a land. And dead. All right. Seems bad. Seems bad. What's cooking in your old reality pot today? I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what the things you're saying mean. Alright, that was actually fine. Our guy couldn't block anyway, so... I wonder if they knew that. I wonder if they knew that guy can't block. Alright, well this is all fine. They have nothing else. So if we can stabilize, theoretically, we're in good shape. Come on, just land. Cool. Literal no plays. All right, so we take six. And now we're not in good shape anymore. If we were able to get Iridescent Drake there, put a Flight of Fancy on it, and then uh, we have a blocker, we take four instead, we would have drawn two cards. We would have had four lands instead of three, and uh, we would have been able to stay in this game. But as it stands now, huh, sure. I guess we go to one here. Turn too late. You don't tap mana, you tap lands that produce mana. That's true. That's true. All right. Well, I feel like we're dead. Gain control of it. Seems good. All right, we had a good run here in the first round. I had a I had a good time. Is there anything we don't like in the deck? I don't even know. Not really. All right, whatever. Let's let's add the the expanse for one island, sure. What do you dislike with Terramark Expanse? I don't like that it comes into play on... Uh, I definitely don't like playing it in two-color decks because you just don't need it. I don't like that it comes into play tapped. Like, any... There's there's so many turns in Magic where if you play it on turn... On, on a turn... On any turn, turn two, turn three, turn four, it could fundamentally affect your entire curve for the rest of the game and you get very little value out of it in a two-color deck. Uh, there's no foil in the deck, no. Cathodian is a 3-3 three, three for three. I think Cathodian's one of the better creatures in the format, probably. 3-3 three, three for 3 is like, that was a, uh, that's a high bar for even green creatures. <laughs> so having an artifact creature that's a 3-3 three, three for 3 that just, with no downfall, is very good. I mean, we have two Whirlwind Adepts in our deck. Uh, foil was the counter spell we were using to discard, but I don't think it's great. I mean, I don't want to three from on myself just to, to just to hope that I have uh, platinum Imperion in hand, and then I still have to draw unbarrel rights on top of that. So it's just not a it's not a super reliable combo. Yes, C Cathodian used to be bad because mana burn was a thing. So you would actually they would kill your Cathodian. You would gain three mana probably during like the combat step or, or during like their turn, and then you wouldn't be able to use it, so you'd take three. Um, 
However, now it's just like, well, that's cool. It doesn't really do. It's it's almost like a blank now. It's almost like a vanilla three three for three. Okay, I'm actually pretty amazed that we're able to go to the turn. I'm going to play this guy here because we don't have a fourth land and we don't care about playing Drake on next turn. If we had a fourth land, I'd play for the Whirlwind Adept. And uh, I'd rather just start getting some unblockable damage in. So I think Cathodian really shines if you clean him off every now and then. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Good times. Hey, look, we're actually hitting land drops and playing spells this game, so I think we're going to actually do well. Call me crazy, but... How long are you going to be streaming for? I got a meeting I got to go to? I'm not sure. Probably forever. I'll stream it for you. I'll stream it for you. That's from, uh, well, it's from, what's that band called? What's the Boy George band called? Is it, what's it? Oh, I can't think of the name of the band. Oh my God. Culture Club? Is it Culture Club? Culture Club. Thank you so much. Oh my God. I couldn't believe I couldn't think of the band. Jesus, thank God. I came up with it right at the last second. We did it. Uh, I'm definitely going to attack into this guy. Frank <laughs> Blackout and checking Google. I did. I did. I was like, I was. I started to Google it. Before I could read it, though, I was like, okay, I think it's Culture Club. We got it. We did it. I think this guy is probably better. Yeah, Wham! is George Michael's band. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. Can you let us know the random songs your brain will fire off in advance so we can prepare? It's tricky. I could give it a shot, but I don't know if it's going to be any good. The very next day, you gave it away. That's a little Christmas jam for you. Oh, cool. 5-5. Five, five. That's a fair combination. This is what's known as a combination. I have a combination as well. It's called tap two lands and uh, oh no, you played a you played a shitty use. Well, that's unfortunate. If we can draw an a, a, an either snipe here, we can bounce this dude and then kill this dude. That would be nice. Guys, I don't know what to have for dinner tonight. Either snipe. That's how we do it, boys. Lucky, 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 lucky. Put it in the trash can. Put your umbra in the trash can. Now Frank likes the set. Yeah, no, let's not go crazy. I like that series of plays that just took place uh, where we predicted it. However, you know. Is the hand punching thing new? I think I've done this before. I just got really excited and I didn't know what else to do. It's not really a thing per se. I was just like, I don't know what to do. I got to hit something. I'll hit my hand. I got real excited and I didn't want to go crazy. Um, so that was like my, that was the most restrained thing I could do. If I was like, if I was wearing headphones, I could have threw the headphones down and got up and run around. Um, but it's, it, that was the most self-contained thing that I could have done in the chair. You know what I mean? We won the game. We're good at this game. We're good at magic. Man, our deck is unbeatable. We're not, we haven't lost a game yet in this match. I think we're fine. I don't think we care about counter squall here.
Oh yeah, Denmark, you missed the hammer where I uh, yeah, that was something. I would just I just had a hammer on my desk. I was just pl- so I would play with it every so often, and um, one time I actually cut myself right here. Does this master name make this namesake set, or is it the cards? What do you mean, Eldron? What do you mean? <laughs> Jack can't talk Thai. Oh, Jack talk Thai. Jack talk Thai, real good. Last Christmas, gave you my heart. How do you cut yourself with a hammer? Well, you see the back part, the claw end, is actually very sharp. The 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 part that you're used to take nails out, that part is actually quite sharp. So, oh, I laughed too, but I was I was literally afraid that I scarred myself. So, instead of punching your hand, have you considered cupping your hands like satellite dishes and rotating them near your face while making a rapid blooping sound like this? You know, I haven't considered that, but uh, can you can you explain to me the benefit of that over punching my hand? Which, again, was a spontaneous decision, not necessarily a thing I'm trying to implement. Oh, yeah, there's a knife right now, actually. Apparently, I have a lot of deadly weapons uh, near near to me. It's actually, there are a lot of efficient tools is really more specific. And... Um, Oh, it's your boy. I think the benefits are pretty self-evident. I, I think it speaks for itself. Oh boy. Huh. Do we just play this guy? Oh god, I feel terrible about playing a 2 2 flyer for four with no benefit here, but that's where we are right now in life. The very next day, you gave it away. Last Christmas, I gave you my... Why, God, God, I wish we didn't bring up George Michael and Wham, dude. Can we talk about how over-the-top bad Christmas music... We can talk about it, but we also have to acknowledge that it's... There's a super... Wait, hold on. What are you taking? Oh. Ooh, there's also a super, like... It's, I don't know. There's just a nostalgia to Christmas music. Like, I don't like Christmas music. But I enjoy Christmas music. Does that make sense? And this is where everybody's like, no, that makes literally no sense. I, uh, that's not a statement that, I, that actually makes any sense. We do need some swamps. Can I get two swamps? Two swamps in a row. I'll give that hammer to somebody special. You're talking nonsense, internet nerd. Like, it's like, I'm never going to listen to Christmas music by itself. I'm never going to be like, man, I'm just going to put on some Christmas music. But when I hear it, I'm like, I like that this exists. I like that it's in the world. Like, you can like, you can enjoy something without without liking it personally. I like that it's a thing, right? But I'm not going to, like, put it on, or I'm not going to be like, yes, more Christmas music. I'm not pumping my fist at it, you know? But when I hear it, I'm like, it it, it says to me that it's a certain time of the year, it's a certain season, like, there's a certain feel to it. Like, it's kind of like a thing that exists, and I'm like, yeah, it's cool that this exists. I like the feel that I get that it's here. But I'm not just, like, I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to, like, jam out to it on my Spotify. I really want some lands here, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Thank you. Oh, they chose my Prowler. That's sad. Nosegad, thank you so much for 11 months. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, welcome. I'm not going to be punching my fist to it. Yeah, I'm not going to be... 
<laughs> not gonna be not gonna be super excited about it. Well, all right, Meringue River Predator is Prowler is, you know. You do have uh, swamps, swamps in your black deck. Hello. Well, I really do hate that man. It's a little Jurassic Park meme. Oh, another five drop. Now we're talking. But truth be told, they weren't talking at all. I could cycle an either snipe, but it just like bounces this guy and we don't really care about it. We're just gonna get rid of Platy. We can madness in instant speed, but however we have no like uh we don't have any madness cards, and we don't have any, like, uh, no. What does that mean? Why are you saying this right now? Yeah, this card's bonkers. Oh, God, what do you have? And the heroic triggers? Come on. I didn't even know Sovereigns of Lost Alara was in this set. Oh, someone asked. I can never tell if you guys are talking to me or if you're just responding to each other in the chat, so I'll just read something randomly, and uh, it won't be relevant, unfortunately. No blocks. Mammoth Umbra is pretty good. All right, we're just gonna go to the next game. I thought this. I thought this. I thought we were doing well, and then we just didn't hit a land for. You know, four turns and uh, no black mana, so. Keep poking the small Electro Cyclops right in this judgy glass eye. All right, let's try again. You know what? I'll keep it. We got a two drop. We got two lands. I got a treasure cruise for when I actually... Uh... I took out a swamp. Yeah, I took out an island, not a swamp. So we actually didn't dilute our swamp count. Um, we got a bunch of cards to discard when we don't hit lands afterwards. So actually a second swamp is great because any land gets us to moan into this guy. Next time you touch the camera, I'm going to touch your finger and then we'll be connected. <laughs> I appreciate that. This card is not a reasonable magic card. I'm almost tempted to shielding plaques this ghoul caller's accomplice just to get, uh, just to make sure we can hit a land next turn, which I think is okay. Oh, we can also target. Oh, we can actually put this on this guy. Oh, that's gas. We put the Terra Morphic Expanse in the deck, man. It's in the deck now. So if we drew it, I will accept that. <laughs> yeah, this seems great. Sorry, buddy. You got a 1-1 one, one forever now. And now look at this. It's funny because it's now we're full circle, whereas game one, we, we, read, we had to read this and figure out why it doesn't say Hexproof. And now we're utilizing the fact that it doesn't say hexproof. <laughs> it's like hair chop. <laughs> that's, that's what I that's what I ask for when I go. I'm like, hey, can you give me a, a good old fashioned hair chop? Yeah, I like Juposhi. I like that you're actually like giving me some sass about a Terramorph expanse, and I'm like. Well, it's in the deck, so if I draw it, cool. We lost our first round to, like, the ridiculous nonsense deck, right? The ridiculous uh, sacrificial deck. Open foil mana vault, my phantom draft feels bad. 
Unfortunately, though, or fortunately, I guess, Mana Vault is only a dollar. So you, you actually, you did good. What happened? Did they do a thing? I guess I blacked out. Yeah, so don't even feel bad about that. That ain't even... If 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 Ultimate Masters was redeemable, uh, you'd be in much worse shape. The fact that it's not redeemable uh, puts a, a really real cap on all the all the card prices. If you could redeem foil sets of uh, Ultimate Masters through the roof. I gave it to somebody special. Fiend Hunter, it eats a zombie. You're taking the guy that I can get back if I kill this. That's fascinating to me. Haven't tuned in for years. Glad to be here, Mr. Your mannerisms feels. Hey, buddy, really appreciate the sub. Even though you haven't tuned in in years? That's crazy. Open for talent trooper. You mean police cop? What are the draft archetypes? I don't actually even know yet. Black Red Sacrifice. There's a heroic nonsense thing. We did not draw another land. So now we can either play a two drop or a three drop. I guess we'll just play a Cathodian. What's the point of that? Nothing. I'm just going to pass. Frank narrate my drive home. The Shadows was in a driving mood today as he approached his home. There were many turns he needed to make before he got there, but not yet. The lights went from red to green to red again. It was an unexpected adventure every time. That guy's big. How do multiple total armors work again? Uh, you choose which one they get destroyed. The replacement effect, so one of them will replace the other one. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we're doing a talking thing. Let's alpha here. Wait, we can have you narrow it all? Yeah, it's a Patreon tier. It's a real high one, though. Oh, are you going to get the double? Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. Okay. So you take three here. If we draw a Flight of Fancy next turn, I'm going to be... I'm going to be way on board. The very next day I gave you away and we have shielding plaques in the graveyard, so if we hit the uh, the Drake, one of our two Drakes, we can actually get it back and draw a card, which is not Muldrifter status, but it's close. It's a four mana draw card rather than a, a five mana draw two cards. So, <sighs> man, chat's on fire today. You guys are great. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of everything you guys are doing. Oh, that's cool. I'm having a good time. Oh, Vigilance too, eh? Well, see you later. Well, we're not chump blocking here. Crying out loud. Two biscuits. Buttery biscuits. This is also eight mana, so I have to... I guess we can actually... No, we can't do that either. Seven mana. Can't do that. Can't play this without getting rid of our moan, which is not great. Hmm. Well, that's something. I guess we're going to roll out the chump blockers here. Sad to say. 
I guess we could double block, and, it, and then it's only a 4-4, which is much more manageable. How close is Talent Trooper to Muldrifter power level-wise? Um, Well, see, the thing is, Talent Trooper can block a Muldrifter all day, which is pretty strong. And it also has a badge, because it's a police hawk, so... I would say Muldrifter actually doesn't even hold a candle. Basically, just an uh, an inferior creature in all in all ways in all regards. I don't know how many combat tricks there are in this format, but let's try not to get blown out here. And by try, I mean I hope we don't get blown out here, but we actually aren't actively doing anything to prevent that from happening. So, God, I'm waiting for it to say casting spells, and then I'm just gonna be like. Are they deciding which one they want to use? Oh, God. Yep, here we go. This creature is really strong. I wish we could play these as instants. <laughs> I'm like, here we go. All right. Well, yeah, no, I don't want to use the three mana. Thank you. Nine, nine, huh? Where my Aether Snipe at? I have three Aether Snipes in my deck. Well, you ain't one of them. You ain't one of my Aether Snipes. I do want to try to draw them, though. Uh, exile you and you, and I'll keep the rest. Well, we found an Aether Snipe, but no literal no lands. That's fascinating. Yeah, I'm actually surprised Face Fetters is common. I'm going to pass here. We're going to block with the zombie. And uh, what does this guy do whenever he casts over one counter? Sure. This guy's going home. I mean, I would have liked a land, because then I can play another land next turn and Chainer's Edict and Aether Snipe, but... White seems pretty strong so far, yes. Because you have answers, you have card advantage, and you have evasion. like, And those are pretty much cornerstones of uh, limited formats. So, I would, uh, I would agree with you there. Okay, I like this attack because it says a, a lot of nothing here. Uh, become a men's give trample, and I'm like, oh, well, I guess we die. That is unfortunate. Land? Now you get a land. All right. Well, we're just going to snipe. And boy, we're going to keep our fingers crossed that you don't have another God's Willing. Boy, please don't have two. Woo! <laughs> Thank goodness. If you like Crystal Pepsi, you'll love my invisible soda. That's true. Dr. Frank's invisible soda. I see. Well, isn't that special? <sighs> oh, dear God. Well, actually not terrible Whew. 
The very next day, this song's in my head. Can we draw a Platinum and Piran? I feel like we can just win if we draw Platinum and Piran. No joke. So we're going to sack two lands here. But we're going to quadruple block. We're going to have either Snipe die, and then we're going to unbarrel rights to either Snipe next turn. That's, that's our plan. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. All right, block, block, block. God's willing, <laughs> we're all black. Oh, thank goodness, we resolved. Oh, we did it. So we traded the second half of a Moan and an Aether Snipe, which is actually just... Pretty, 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 pretty good. Should we just be aggressively attacking with this? Probably. So I think we're going to play Archmage. We can take like four here. I think that's fine. I think the only way to win here is to just close out this game in such a way that like they don't actually can't just kill us. <laughs> that was pretty fine. Narrator, it wasn't. Here we go. Tap it all. I want it all. And I want it now. Actually, I might just block this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Fascinating. All right. What the fuck? Let's get rid of Spirit Boy.
I've got just the thing. <laughs> oh, boy. So next time they play the dude, we can either snipe if we draw. We really just have to land here, so. I mean, we can still kill Crusher again. I just don't want to have to sack two more permanents because we're running low. <laughs> can you narrate that comment for me? Monkey face. Frank's opponent had an Ulamog's Crusher in his hand, but he was not playing it yet. The time was growing near, though. And it was right now. This would be the second Ulamog's Crusher he had faced in this match. And it might not be the last. Oh, biscuits. No oh, biscuits. Oh, bloody biscuits. Okay, well. So if we play this bounce you, let's see what you, no, let's not do that. All right, we're going, we're trying to do the real thing here. And the real thing is winning. I don't like mark then double block. That's a lot of resources. Um, I do like bouncing this guy and attacking with both. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I wish we had a land. If we had a land, this would be a pretty pretty easy get rid of Little Mog's Crusher turn. But uh, we don't. So next turn, if they if they don't block here at all, they go to three, and then we can kill them with this next turn with the mark, which is really what we're hoping for. Yeah, Mark Double Block is actually way more than a 3 for 1 because they actually got the Crusher back with an Eternal Witness. I think this is actually good. All right, so next time we can actually try to mark and then kill them. Just replay Crusher. That's all you got to do. Like, they can't get rid of Olivia's Dragoon and replay Crusher, which is nice. Although, I mean, this guy's pretty scary, right? Like, if they play Mammoth Umber, it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, like, any other spell kills us. Like, But we know the one card is Crusher, so they have to have two out of three uh, targeting spells. One of them has to give plus three, plus three. So. Well, if they had blocked, they would have been fine, but they would have thrown this guy away, right? And they're no... They're on board. They're at no no risk of dying just from this guy alone. So, you know, prey upon. Yeah, that's a good point. I guess. I mean, they have to have land crusher prey upon, which is, I mean, still a very specific set of cards. So. This is, uh, boy, they're really in the tank. 
today, Junior? Interesting. You just get rid of Chainer's Edict. I mean, they've also they have four minutes on the clock. We have twelve, so like we have Unbrow Rights, Ghoul Steed, Aether Snipe. Fascinating. All right. This does not float. Worth noting. Also, this attaches the spell, so it doesn't actually target, to the best of my knowledge. So, it should just be like 6 damage. I imagine they're getting a Mammoth Umbra, which is in the graveyard, so maybe they don't actually have a second Mammoth Umbra. I mean, we're dead if they have uh, Eldrazi Conscription in their deck. I don't think that's a card in this set. In fact, this might have been just like a last-ditch effort here. No, the Cloud Dudes don't fly. I know shock to me as well literal spirits literally in the clouds doesn't fly you got it which is awkward because this gives reach <laughs> so here we are let's do the Eldrazi conscription is in the set What? Are you serious? Get out of here. It's a rare? Oh my god, dude. Good games. We did it. Woo. That was that game was lit. Alright, so one two. One one. These are numbers that I'm saying. That's bizarre. That is correct. Yep, that is correct. Ah, keep this hand. All right. All right. Nice. Oh, this is great because now we can go this guy next turn on our four into this guy on our five. I'm okay with all of this. Get milled on. Uh, Chainer's Edict, do you? Two more, let's see what else you got. A thug? All right, three lands and a thug. Oh man, if I can if I could mill the conscription and then put it on my dude. Yes, please. Let's do that. Swamp. Oh, platy. Big plats. Platy bow batty. Four four on an empty board seems good. I'm all right with it. If we can plax them up, what just happened? Oh wow, they triggered Ulamog, and then before I could even do anything, and they Maelstrom. <laughs> what is the? What is even happening right now? You dredged this guy. You got Ulamog, shuffled Ulamog into your graveyard, and then Maelstrom pulsed my guy. I think I just became dumber from all of that happening. What in the earth, man? God, I really don't want to play Iridescent Drakes without having anything to get back. I don't feel good about it. I'd almost rather discard Shielding Plaques and Platinum Imperion to Ghoul Steed. Which I think we're going to do. Because we also can't, we can't Treasure Cruise, we can't cast this. Our option is to cast this, or cast a Shielding Plax on their guy. Me 
way to. And shielding plaques. Land. Dang it, I got so excited. It wasn't a land. Biscuits. Well, is this turn seven? We have missed two land drops. So that's sad. Yep, that's fine. Ulamog again? No. Unholy Hunger, which is Liliana doing the Jackie Chan thing. Uh, hold on. We're gonna do. We're gonna. Nope, that ain't it. All right, so we're just gonna grab this one. Should be fine. Perfect. So, can you guys tell me who wore it best? And we're gonna go over here. Show preview pane. <laughs> which is which which is better I don't know hard to say they're attacking with ghoul steed I'll block actually I'm tempted to block with this guy <laughs> um so that we can actually reanimate and get the other thing back I think we're actually fine just blocking here though That's the content I came for. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Good to hear it. Good to hear it. One, two, three, four. Oh, they're, they're great about his gas. They have a Mona Vion Hollowed in there. They have a Ghoul Steed. I'm going to take out the Moan because I think it's probably better than... Like, they can respond by discarding two, getting Ghoul Steed back, but they can't respond with this. I also think two two twos is probably more uh, threatening to us than... I kind of want to try to hit a land here. Also, we do have a white for any future shenanigans. Um, with Unburial Rights. How do you get those lands? These are these are the ones you uh these are the ones that just come with the draft. I'm gonna think twice here, because if we hit a land, we can actually play Ghoul Caller's Accomplice, which is exactly what we want to do. Perfect. Perfect. If they want to discard the last two cards to play Ghoul Steed, I'm 100 percent okay with that. Oh, oh, I don't want to exile any of the cards in my graveyard right now. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we're just going to play a treasure cruise here. Like just flat out hard cast treasure cruise without exiling anything. Mm, that'll do. That'll do. They only have six lands, which is pretty far away from casting an Ulamog, so that's good. Are we just trading here? Huh. I mean, this is actually just fine. Like, if we're just trading one-for-ones, like, if you want to pay four to do this, it's fine. <laughs> Excuse me.
See, just for example, though, like if we play Glenelg or Archmage, we could also play this guy, or we could play this and this if this was a regular land and not a Terramorphic Expanse. So this is like the kind of situation where I'm just like, I'd rather have a regular land. I mean, I get that it also does help treasure crews when we want to delve, and it's also a good way to fix our white. Um, but that being said, five, six, seven, eight. There's also eight mana so that we can't play this and think twice because of the Terra Morgan Expanse. So there's like three things we can't do right now um, because this is a Terra Morgan Expanse and not a regular land. And I'm not saying it's not worth playing. I'm just saying the problems that crop up with Terra Morgan Expanse are usually worth more to me than uh, the value you get from the Terramorphic Expanse. I am tempted to just play either Snipe and bounce this guy, but I think I can also take some damage and just play Archmage here. I agree it's a good way to make sure we hit our colors. That's exactly the point of playing it. That being said, I don't think the being able to hit both of your colors in a two-color deck is worth the sacrifice we're having to make this specific turn. Because ordinarily, like statistically speaking, you should not have that big of a problem hitting both of your colors in a two-color deck. Like your odds of if you have seven or eight swamps, your odds of hitting this instead of one of those swamps is significantly low. So this does let us play think twice though, which is nice. So we we not not all is lost. Are you just you're casting this? Okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. So we take four here. I can't see us blocking here. Yeah, I'll take four. I watched your content for nearly a year and subbed for a few months now. You finally convinced me to try it. Really? That's awesome. Cyborg, you really appreciate it, buddy. Really appreciate you giving it a shot, I guess, is what I'm saying. Uh, one, two, three. Crack you. Let's get a planes in case they're able to kill this. I would like to get double value off of Unbarrow Rights. I know this guy's problematic, but I don't think we care. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can go six drop and three drop, but that's not super impressive. Would I play Expanse in a random land in a two color deck? No, probably not. Just for engineer explosives, like engineer explosives is kind of. I don't know. I would. I might board it in if you feel like you're really like you really need that. We have nine mana, so we can actually make a zombie and play a four mana card, which I guess would just be River Prowler. The problem is we block here, we still take another four. I'd rather just bounce this, take three, and then be able to still be able to block these guys. And actually, I'm not, I'm not actually opposed to just playing River Prowler or uh, bringing back Ghoul Steed at the end of their turn, because that's also pretty strong. Yep, that is fine. Can you give me your updated thoughts on Arena? I think it's fine. I have been enjoying... Or all, all the Arena that I've been playing is totally fine. Uh, we can make zombies and play a 5-mana card if we want to take down Glenelg or Archmage, which we do not. So, uh, you are able to count to 9, <laughs> but <laughs> that is not what we were doing. So... Now we can play this from the graveyard, which is just great. So 
Super Fritz, have a good afternoon, buddy. Enjoy your food. Uh, let's attack with you too. Might as well. Put target creature from your graveyard on top of your library. I don't really care about many of those guys. Yeah. All right. So we have no enchantments in either graveyard. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. We can make a Zombo. Five, six, seven, eight. We have nine, so we can play Adept and play you. That actually seems good. One, two, three. Custodian, which also blocks Shriek Maw. All right, we're going wide here, boys. Are you countering this? Oh, you're getting back your... Your, your ghoulie heat, your ghoulie horse. And that's the end of this game. All right. Well, that's all right. Our deck is actually surprisingly doing some more work than it did in the round one. Um, yikes. I almost want foil just because they have some pretty powerful stuff. I wouldn't mind countering a shriek maw or. <laughs> Despite the damage being done in Ulamog at some point, especially if we have Platinum Empyreon. Although we can put Shielding Plaques on our Platinum Empyreon, which is nice. Also, Awful Snout seems pretty good in this matchup. I'm going to bring in these two Awful Snouts. I said the Construct can block. I said the Cathodian can also block the Shriek Maw, which is nice. Why, why, why are you being like this, OMG Zora? Chainers Edict almost seems pretty bad. They have a bunch of 1-1s one and 2-2 two -two tokens and stuff. Feels weird taking it out, but I think I'd rather have something like a foil. Although I think this is probably fine like this. Although I really don't want to get to a point where we're like either sniping an Ulamog. <laughs> Feels bad, man. All right, so they're going to six on the play. I'm okay with it. I mean, Ulamog's 11 mana, which is very unreasonable. All right, we have four lands, which is great. Ulamog again, along with Prey Upon and... Unholy Hunger. I also like Flight of Fancy. Flight of Fancy on Glenlinger Archmage is great because it lets you draw the two, and then when you sacrifice the Archmage, the Flight of Fancy goes in the graveyard, which means for any future Iridescent Drakes. Can you make a Batman? What does that even mean? What are you saying, Sammy? Oh, this guy has Flash? Dang, we could have eaten it. I totally forgot this guy had Flash. And by forgot, I mean, boy. Oof. Dang. We could have eaten that dude. This does not have Flash. Bop. Skibbity bop bop. Boo doo doo. Boo doo doo. We, I mean, they are unfathomable. Wow, that's got a little dark there, I would say. Uh, we're going to block one. It's a fine trade. Exile this guy. That's a good deal. Oh, wow. All right, so we're, we're moaning here, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm.
All right. Not too shabby. I think we're just done a double block here. We have to survive. If we can survive, we have Platinum Imperion to really do some damage here. Actually, we can just attack with this. We can block here. We'll take five, maybe. We can block here if we don't take five. And, um... Sure. Just drafted the worst one-two deck ever, but I had to get hit with Merit Lage turn four. Okay, well, that's a thing. A Batman icon? Why, though? Uh, wow, you get to shuffle in your moan. All right, cool. Just keep hitting that Ulamog, I guess. And there's the Swamp. Yeah, we don't have much to do next turn, so we can actually block and then make... Uh, make another zombie, and then we're just, like, trying to grind down these zombies. good oh, awkward <laughs> we don't have much removal which is my biggest problem here they also don't have any cards in their graveyard anymore this is this is just sad days There's a lot of things to deal with on the board. We have to get rid of the Wicker Bow Elder, though. I think we double block Wicker Bow. We take six. Oh, gross. Yeah, I like this. I like this better actually because now they don't have a target for Wicker Bow Elder. So, all right, all right. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can go Dragoon. And so we can just double block with Awful Snout and Dragoon here. And if we hit a land, we're in good shape for Platinum Imperion. So that's my that's my theory. Awful snoots. Thank you. Four days. Emerson, Wilbur Chomp, thanks so much for the subs. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thank that was a simul sub right there. I'm pretty sure the removal spell is a sorcery. I think this was played quite well because now we get to kill this guy without getting any value when one of our tutus actually survives. So, um, yeah. Seems good. Two, three, vassal. Let's get this guy out of here. So we can play Platinum Imperion, and then if they play a creature or a spell, we can actually Glenelinger Archmage it, which is nice. All right. Got it under control. We're doing it. We're living the dream. One, two, three. This is a lot of mana. 
Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Gurmag Angler. That's fine. Just a hard cast Gurmag Angler. Land. Beautiful. Step one. Got that Twitch Prime from the parents. Nice. Nice. I I uh I have no uh no concern for where it comes from as long as it's legal. And as long as you don't put yourself in a financially compromised position to support. Appreciate it. What lands are these and how do you get them? These are the unhinged lands. These are the only lands I play with uh, in constructed matches, but they're also available in the cube. Or not in the cube, in the Ultimate Masters. So, I mean, if you're doing an, an Ultimate Masters draft on Magic Online, these are just the lands that are going to be supplied to you. So, just to be clear, this should be pretty unbeatable, right? Shielding plaques. Oh, boy. Oh, this gets Flight of Fancy back. That's <laughs> gasoline. All right, let's do that. Uh, one, two, three, four. Hashtag winning. Draw two. Uh, we'll just play Terramorphic Expanse here, and we'll attack for one in the air. Yeah, we're definitely not attacking with Platinum Imperion now. Uh, if you have an ability to pay life to get cards of that call, let's do it on the field. Does it work? Uh, you actually don't get to pay, though. You can't pay. Like, you can't pay costs that are life costs because your life total can't change. Uh, yep, can't do anything about that. Yeah, they could have blocked. That's fine. I don't think they're really uh, in a position to be... No, no, they, they would have been fine. I, I can't really defend that. It was just an accident. I actually forgot that this guy gets flying, and I don't think it really doesn't affect things tremendously, thankfully. Don't forget we still have unbarrel rights. In our hand. No, one of the inhaled. Okay. Um, so here's a thing we can do. It's called attacking. I really did. Have, there's nothing really. Uh, yeah, we're just going to attack with this. One, two, three, four, moan. One, two, three, four, five, adept. We still have to find a way to get through. We don't actually have a ton of ways to break through damage. Sure. Hooting mandrels, all right. Well. So four, five, six, seven, eight. They have ev they have exactly enough on board. Let's treasure cruise, get rid of you, 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 and you. Uh, one, two, three, four. Because we want to hit... Um, we want to bounce this guy, but we also want to hit like... Mark would be amazing on here. Okay, basically nothing. So 
So they'd have to put everything in front of Imperion, right? And we can take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they're basically dead. So we can actually alpha here and uh, be pretty okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they'd have to put everything in front of Imperion. Hmm. And that'll do. All right. Two, one. We're improving. We're getting there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe. Slam the like and the subscribe button. Hit the bell. You can check me out on Twitch and on Patreon. Links are in the description below. And uh, also, do yourself a favor and check out Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes. The link is in the description below. If you use promo code FRANK, you'll get 10% off on any orders. And uh, if you want a custom order, then it'll get you like free engraving or something like that. You guys can discuss that. But just let him know that I sent you. And his work is amazing. If you're in the market for any, some, any like solid wood deck boxes, be it Commander, Cube, whatever, uh, definitely check Aaron Kane out. His link is in the description on YouTube and on Twitch. And... Uh, do yourself a favor. Check that out. Helps the stream. Helps you. Everybody wins. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. If you're watching on uh, Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the video. So I'll see you guys next time.